This Endless Professor video is about how to use JASP chi-squared in order to analyze some 2x2 two two contingency table data. So the first thing we do is we launch JASP and we're going to browse on our computer and I have put the file I want to open and here we go. This is the Chicago Sex Offender Database. And if you'll notice, we have over a thousand cases here to analyze in the usual rows and columns format. And chi-squared only really works with categorical variables. So we could use it with background organismic variables like gender and race and outcome variables that are also measured in categories such as whether the victim was a minor. Let's go right to the frequencies area. Notice that we see a little symbol here that represents a two by two contingency table for categorization. So let's click right on that. We're going to go with the contingency table. We're going to select rows and columns. The usual procedure is to have the rows represent our predictor variables, our initial groupings, such as gender. So we click on gender, move it over to rows. We're going to have our column represent the outcome variable of whether or not the perpetrator decided to have a minor as a victim. So what we have over here is our contingency table, female or male perpetrator, minor victim, yes or no. And there are the over 1,000 cases that we started off with. Turns out there was only 32 female perpetrators. Most of the victims were minors. Was there a significant difference between the women's rate of offending against minors and the men's rate? Well, the chi-square says not really. We're not significant until we get less than 0 0.05 with our p-value. One of the things we can do here is um, we can take a look at the percents because these numbers, 32 females versus over 1,000 males, are sort of out of balance for our group size. So let's have our uh, percentages be expressed across the rows. And now we can get a better comparison here. It turns out that for the women who were offenders, 84% had minor victims. And for the male offenders, it was only 71%. So there was about a 13 percentage points difference with the women more likely to be offenders. This was not a significant difference because the grouping within our sample was so lopsided, so many more men than women. So that's how we do the chi-squared contingency table test within JASP. 